the far north of Manitoba. Hundreds of miles from the nearest person. It's here, nestled in over 7,000 square miles of watershed, that Gangler's Lodge is located, a five-star lodge in some of the most pristine wilderness and fishing available. What better place to take a son or daughter for the trip of a lifetime? Today, my daughter Jenna is going to experience some of the best sight fishing there is. Come along and join us on our adventure. Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Travel Manitoba Orvis Sporting Traditions Northern Manitoba the edge of the boreal forest and the beginning of the Arctic tundra. A truly special place that has the best of wilderness, wildlife, and diversity of fish species. To get to Gangler's Lodge, you first fly to Winnipeg in Manitoba and stay overnight. First thing in the morning, you board a charter plane to fly to Thompson, and then after fueling, you fly the rest of the way to the lodge, which is located on Egenhof Lake in the North Seal River watershed. Ganglers has float planes at the lodge throughout the season and can fly anglers each day to different lakes or rivers to fish for a wide variety of species. This is one of the ways Ganglers is so unique compared to most lodges where you usually fish at only one lake or river. Bringing my daughter to such a unique lodge was really something I was quite excited about. Never in all the years we had fished together had she experienced such a wilderness destination. After a hearty breakfast at the main lodge, we went down to the dock to board a float plane. Down at the dock, we also met our guide for the week. George Maristay. George is an exceptionally experienced angler who lives here in the north and understands where and why the fish are in certain locations. The first lake we're going to possesses good populations of both pike and lake trout. Okay. You keep them on, keep a tip up. Let him run if he needs to run. That's a decent fish. Well done, Jenna. Hey, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna tip out a bit. Just bring him into the net. All right. There we go. Nice one. Whoa. 
wow. <laughs> Great. Good job, sweetheart. Thank you. First nice sized pike of the day. Let's see if we can catch some more, yeah? So what we've been doing is casting along the reed bed here, because what you can't see is there's a great rock bed, lots of boulders, and that's where the pike have been. We've been using a slow retrieve, and with the fly we put on, the perch pattern, it has just been perfect on the mark, fish after fish. We're just gonna keep going and see what we can find. Fish on. Whoa. Is it right or this one? Okay, so I'm reeling him in, keeping the line rod tip up. Oh, seems like a good sized pike here. Let's see if we can tire him out. I'm gonna try and get him over to you, George, okay? Yeah. There we go. Wow, not a bad fish. How big would you say that is there? 34 maybe, close to 34. 34, nice. Great. We're using a sinking line and looking for lake trout. We caught a pike, but we're gonna keep trying and see if we can catch one of those trout. It's going deep, so it's, I think, yeah, it's a lake trout, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a lake trout. So these lake trout are right into these large white flies. And I think there's a lot of sparkle we have in them. The crystal flash. As you can see, it's flat, calm, sunny conditions. And these aren't the big lake trout they have here. These are the smaller ones I keep catching in that five to seven pound range. But they sure fight well. You can really tell the difference when you hook one of these compared to a pike, the way they fight. But these lake trout, they just don't give up. Well, it's the end of our first exciting day on our first lake. Jenna was starting to have more success with her hookups. Tomorrow, we're traveling to a lake that offers shallow water fly fishing for both northern pike and walleye. And I'm talking big fish. Stay with us. It's our second day, and we're now on the hunt for big walleye and trophy pike. Jenna told me she had trouble sleeping because she kept thinking about all those large pike that had followed her fly to the boat, but wouldn't take. Perhaps today she'll connect with the fish, especially in shallow water. That's a good size one. That is a nice one. Look at this, Jenna. Oh, wow, that's a nice fish. That's a big one. Not bad on a fly rod. <laughs> How big would you say that is? I'll let George see. How big do you think that is? 24 inches? Bye-bye. Good stuff. They're cool. So what you want to do is either cast this way or this way to the current and let it swing underwater with these sinking lines. And then once it gets down a certain amount, you just slow, real slow. And you'll feel the tug, 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 tug. But if you're down vertical like you are right now, it won't work. So your best thing is cast out this way, Jenna, or cast out this way. You know, we catch thousands of trophies every year. Um, my guests don't even write them down. It's just something they do. And, and the quality fish, the fish that I would call, like with pike fishing, 35 to 39, 40 inches. I mean, we can't even keep track of those. I had a lady email me today, a guest who's actually doing two trips this year, and she said to me, their worst days here, and she laughed, their poor days were still over 100 fish a day. It's truly insane how many trophy-sized walleye Jenna and I caught in the shallow water. Ken Gangler had told me about the 100 fish days, but to be honest with you, I almost didn't believe him. 
It's almost surreal how good the fishing is here. Oh, good stuff. Get your foot off the line. Just runs. That's a big walleye, Jenna. Oh. That's a trophy. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a big one. Oh, wow. Uh, let him fight. Let him fight. If he wants to take a line, let him go. Okay. Oh, 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 oh Jenna. <laughs> we got to get a picture of this. Yeah? Right? Okay, George. Keep, keep his head up, right? Remember what I taught yeah. you? Head into the net. There you go. Jenna, well done. <laughs> Give me five. Thanks, Don. That's a trophy size. Is wallet. it? Yeah, it's a trophy, Jenna. Would you look at that? Okay. All right. Good. Do you want to measure him? Beautiful. 25. 25. And trophy, or so how? What's the trophy? 28. 28. Yeah, we're just short. But it's a big one. Close. Great. Thanks. Perfect. Thanks, Thanks George. Father and I have been using a leech pattern fly and casting our line straight out. And what's really important is making sure you let your fly sink right down to the bottom. We're only in about eight to 10 feet of water here. So letting your fly sink down ensures that the fish will actually see it. And with a slow retrieve, you'll be sure to catch their attention. There we go, great. Thanks, George. Fish on. He's, really, he's way out there. I know. So Jenna's fish has almost taken all the line out. And uh, it's almost to the backing. It's splashing out there and jumping. And when it first hit, I don't think we knew it was that big. No. Nope. Okay. Oh. Keep it up. Head up. That's a big fish. Keep the head up. There you go. And in he goes. Oh. Woohoo! Jenna got a big one. This is the biggest fish today. <laughs> well, what's amazing, it's eating a fly literally four inches long. You don't need big flies to catch pike. Look how thick that baby is. I'd say what, 36, 37? George will get him revived. There he goes, he swims off. That was, All right. That was awesome. He was way out there in the middle. Well, well George is right. Okay. He said, okay, the wild are here in the edge, so let's go out in the deeper water. And it's what, maybe three to five feet out there? And he's out there. So we'll reposition again and go back out there. That's great. <laughs> when you come to a lodge like Gangler's, it's always important to come prepared with a large variety of flies. A lot of people think that you need big flies to catch big fish, but that's not always the case. This week when catching pike, my father and I have found it very rewarding to use small four inch flies. Sometimes you need to use bigger flies like this six inch or an eight inch fly or even a 10 inch fly. And as you can see, we brought a large variety of color as well. You never know what's going to get the fish biting and you always need to come ready. Got another big pike on the popper. I think this one may be the biggest we've found yet. Wow! What an incredible day we just experienced. Jenna couldn't stop smiling. Tomorrow, we're flying into a lake that is known for the epic size of the pike. Stay with us. Today is going to be a truly fantastic one. Jenna will experience her first sight fishing for massive pike. As a father and angler, it will be fun to watch her reaction to seeing lots of big fish and trying to contain her excitement. So we're casting in this bay here and it is fantastic. There are so many huge pike and it's, it's hard to focus on, on your casting technique when there's so many pike and you just, you want to get your line out there, but you've got to be careful with your retrieving your technique or you're not going to catch anything. 
My hands are just shaking. There are big fish everywhere on the top, on the bottom. It's hard to focus on your cast and when you have buck fever, there's just so many big fish in this area. Like the hunter who misses the big deer because of buck fever, Jenna is experiencing the same problems as she misses fish after fish. But things will hopefully change as she settles down. Fish on. Oh my gosh. And there's a bigger one even behind him. Yeah. Yep. That's good. Okay. Oh. Oh wow. That's a big fish. Huh? Oh yeah, it's a big fish. That's the one you talked to. Yeah, that's the one. Oh yeah. Cara? No, no, no. <laughs> Got him? Got him. Good job. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. Nice fish. <laughs> I have no words. That was so much fun. It's so crystal clear here. It's amazing. You get to see every single movement and every fight. It's indescribable. It's amazing. I am. Whoa. Ooh. Hi, buddy. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. <sighs> Quite the workout on that fish. Whoa, look at that <laughs> fish. After fighting a big fish like I just did, it's always important to check your leader. As you can see here, mine has gotten very frayed and though it did its job, if I catch another big fish, it might snap and I'd lose it. So check your leader and if it's frayed like this, it's very important to change it. I'm probably going to change my fly as well. It got a little mangled here, but we're gonna change this, make it nice and tight and catch another fish. I just did exactly what my father has always taught me not to do. When I hooked a big fish, I put too much slack while I was trying to reel it in and I lost it. And that's something that all beginners do, but it's really important that you keep tight to the fish or you're gonna lose that trophy. This guy was just sitting there, right there in the bay. Great. Good fight. Two high five. Woohoo. Great. Good? Yeah. Thanks, George. Yeah. So frustrating because there are so many fish. Big fish, small fish, just a huge amount and they're just not biting. They're not hungry. So we're going to move to a different location and see if we can find some that are on the fly. Fish on. <laughs> oh, <a> fudge. <laughs> I said it though. <laughs> When we return, Jenna solves her buck fever and starts to really connect with some monster pike. Stay with us. Mm -hmm. 
Jenna has big pike around her everywhere, but she also has buck fever. Striking too quickly. Hook setting too slowly. She has all the classic signs of buck fever. It really makes me smile because she's having so much fun trying to contain her excitement. But the question is, can she calm down enough to make the right cast, the right presentation, and truly hook into a monster? Come back. We are... You see him? Yep. Oh, wow. <coughs> That's a big fish, yeah. <laughs> yeah, another trophy. There we go. <laughs> Another trophy fish. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks. Thanks, George. Sadly, the float plane arrives, which signals the end of this day. Jenna doesn't want to go, and I don't blame her. However, we're not done our adventure. In part two, we continue our odyssey of sight fishing for giant pike on surface flies. And there's some truly spectacular moments coming. You gotta come back. Thanks for watching and tight lines. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to Travel Manitoba. Orvis Sporting Traditions.